Hey traders from around the world, what is going on? Welcome to your Wednesday stock review. That's right, Wednesday spelt with an I. Tonight is going to be a very nice profitable uh, day for all the real life traders and I'll talk about that in just a moment. This is a little bit of a special stock review because I do want to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look at the analysis that we do in the afternoon swing trading floor. So make sure you do watch this video to the very end. But first and foremost, guys, let's talk about the broader markets, the SPY, the S&P 500. All right, guys, so we did end up creating a very nice trapping lower low candlestick pattern here. We are currently getting a nice, beautiful morning star reversal pattern. Not insanely great volume, so I'm not entirely convinced that we are just going to kind of launch on out of here. I do expect us to kind of bounce around, maybe possibly throw in a nice high low, trade up, maybe get a little bit more rejection and then trade sideways just before the election and then watch and wait and see what happens uh, after the election. Most likely we will probably come down a little bit and then look to trade bullish toward the end of the year. Here's the E-minis. Now the E-minis, very nice little doji candle. Uh, not a whole lot of volume that's coming in right now. So I do expect us to kind of trade sideways at this particular point in time. So not a whole lot of bullishness. The shorter term moving averages, we are below all of them. Um, but for the most part, guys, we are staying above the long terms, which is absolutely fantastic. Long term, look to buy the dip on the SMP. Now here is what I did want to share with you guys. Here's Twitter. Now as you can see here, I did draw this particular blue line and I will just rewind the video back to this day right here just to share what went on and uh, where we actually got in on this day back here. Here is the amazing setup. Take a look. So, yep, Twitter obviously pulling back a little bit. We were at a resistance level, nice little gap down. It is gapping down a little bit more. Wait for it to pull back. There's most likely gonna be some sort of consolidation around here and maybe a wiggle. At that point, I'll probably I'll probably uh, look look at this again because the short term moving averages we're going to be right at the 50 and that is going to be one you're going to want to watch for a dip buying opportunity. So keep that in mind on Twitter. Now obviously you could just sell a put at 38. We could also go a little bit lower. Uh, this is just where it's going to come into my radar. Twitter, good old Twitter. So shout out to my boy Rich for sending this amazing. Oh, guys, guys, how is this for analysis? Didn't we say we were just going to, like we drew this on this day. Oops, not that. What? Oh, oh, what? Hang on. We drew this on this day. <laughs> Said it's going to come down to about here and trade completely sideways. And yeah, so now I have to take this trade. It's done exactly what I wanted it to do. Richard pointed this out to us. So any trade that he takes, I'm just going to take with my eyes closed. JP says, did you cheat and draw this line after it? No. Man, go back to this day right here <laughs> and, and have a look at me drawing this line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't. I even drew the highs. The highs was roughly here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm definitely taking this trade. Any trade that Richard takes, I'm just going to do it with my eyes closed. So have to do it. 16 of September, Twitter. Oops, Twitter. You, obviously, guys, you can buy calls on this as well. Uh, you can buy calls. To buy calls or not to buy calls? That's the question. I haven't done an options play in a while. Uh, let's see. Entry. I'm just going to have my entry above here. 39.48. We'll go 39.50. 39.50 and it's going to be a stop limit buy. I'll just call this 38, that's fine. So 
stop. 39.50 by 38. $1.50 of risk? <laughs> Guys, I cannot make this stuff up. This literally happens almost every single day in the trading room. This phenomenal analysis. We did get put, uh, we did get into this beautiful put sale as well. Sensational dip buying opportunity. This line has not moved. The entry and stop has not moved. And uh, tonight we will be looking to lock in some gains. We will be moving our stops up here just to lock in a nice two hour gain. Uh, obviously, if we do continue to trade bullish, uh, we will look to raise our stop and have a nice little target up here somewhere. But all in all, guys, this was just a phenomenal analysis on Twitter, as you can see. So if you are uh, if you are in bullish on Twitter, well done. Look to take your profits very, very soon. We are coming up into a very nice resistance level right here. And uh, well done to everyone who did buy the dip, who was part of Real Life Trading. Next on the list is Net. Now on Net, this was another phenomenal trade that was pointed out to us by one of our other Real Life Trading members. As you can see back here, Net Swing Trade Bullish. This was the day that we got in on this particular trade setup. I did post it. Uh, did post this live on my trading view account as well just because I did love it I said one of our amazing real life traders Eve spotted this beauty of a setup love it long is strong and you guys can just see exactly what happened here push play and there it is so fantastic analysis from from Eve and well done to everyone who did look to buy the dip we are currently coming up into a resistance level so I will be looking to at least take some profits or maybe sell a cover call against uh, net so well done everybody on that one here's the ASX 200 now the ASX 200 was a very nice gap up today we did trade above the 100 simple moving average and this is a morning star reversal pattern so I do expect us to kind of just chop around a little bit if we do have a little bit of a market sell-off expect us to come back down to about 52 and some change but for the most part guys just be very very neutral on the broader markets or the ASX 200 Here's the A2 mill company, ticket symbol A2M. Now, if this is not a double bottom, then I don't know what is. This, guys, is just a phenomenal, phenomenal double bottom with volume. I mean, this is just absolutely incredible. We are currently resisting the 200 simple moving average on the daily chart. Uh, but if you are looking to buy A2 milk company, looks really, really fantastic for a long-term buy. If I just draw some nice little Fibonacci uh, Fibonacci retracement levels here from the lows here back to the top as you can see guys we came straight down to the 618 sensational dip buying opportunity fantastic on all levels this was the time to at least look at going long so if you are in bullish well done if you're not in yet just look to buy on a short-term retest somewhere here around the neckline and then have a stop down below here and then look to take this great stock bullish so well done everybody his cba now cba thrown in a phenomenal morning star reversal pattern guys if you've never seen one of these before print this out post it on your wall look at it every single day that is the most perfect morning star reversal pattern i've ever seen in my entire life cba very nice volume beautiful indecision candle sensational little gap down with a gap higher i mean this is just showing bullishness all round so if you are looking at going long now does look like the time to start going long on cba and also we did come back down to a previous level of resistance which means it is now a support level so if you are looking at going long, CBA does look fantastic. Here's crude oil. Now, crude oil is looking a little bit weak, everybody. Um, I did mention this back here uh, that we most likely will trade a little bit lower. We did come and reject the 200 simple moving average on a daily chart. And as you can see, we are still resisting this as well and forming this beautiful little pennant pattern right now and most likely will break and trade lower. So keep an eye out, uh, an eye out for crude oil to break down and gold. Good old gold. Now gold is pulling back. We did mention that we could possibly break lower and come down to the 100 simple. We're getting there guys. We do have a weekly options newsletter to trade this long uh, if we can kind of get a break above this candle. But by the looks of it, we'll most likely be cancelling that trade. But GC, the futures, the gold futures, 
does look like we are going to start to get a little bit of buying pressure coming up very, very shortly. So keep your eyes peeled on gold for a bounce. We are currently still falling. Do not try to catch the falling knife. Let it come down, consolidate for a little bit, and then look to take the breakout and trade higher on gold. And last but not least, here's the Aussie dollar. Now, for a long time, probably since back here uh, and back here, I did mention that this is going to be the time we will trade down to the 50-day EMA. Uh, if you take a look at the shorter term moving averages, guys, we are right there. So we have been trading above the 50 and above the 20 for quite some time, basically since May. And right now we are closing below the 50. This is going to be a really nice consolidation phase. Possibly come back down to these highs back here at around 70 cents and some change. Uh, but the Aussie dollar definitely looks like a nice candidate to bounce if we can find some support down here at around 70 cents. Now guys, if you do want the amazing analysis that we did have on Twitter, I mean, like I said, I cannot make this stuff up. We do have these amazing setups all the time. And uh, if you do want to get involved, hop on over to reallifetrading.com.au. It is only $129 a month. We're going to make about 10 times that on this particular trade. Uh, probably not 10 times, but at least at least five times that on this particular trade. And uh, get involved. This was just one trade, and there are plenty more where that came from. If you do want to get some private coaching with me as well, I do highly recommend the premium bundle. Uh, there are a lot of people who are in my Facebook community who can definitely vouch for those coaching sessions as well. Definitely priceless. Uh, so make sure you do jump on that. But that's enough from me, guys. I will be back on Friday with another real-life stock review just for you. And until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. You rock. Bye.